hear that sweet sound of the game loading in. It means it's time for the grand finals. She had an insane series earlier against uh, Blades. Then he had a much more underwhelming series against Hawk, but that was in the all randoms tournaments with random race, random heroes, and random mercenaries. Now we're back to full standard human against undead. And I expect to see more Lich expansion attempt from him. And Hawk, the question is, is he going to play at all? Like Blade was doing with a lot of one base pushes because he had mixed success, obviously, with that style. Or is he going to try and expand himself and take a more passive approach, at least in the first place? We're going to find out. There's also some mind games like those Sheik want to try and go maybe more for Crypt Lord and stuff to try and surprise. Or is Lich first really the thing he wants to rely on the most? I would guess so. Hawk is playing back to back to back games. This guy just does not stop. All day. Walker 3 all day. What else? What else is there? To be honest, on Sunday, I like to mix in a little poker myself. You know, it's funny. I didn't plan on casting this tournament. I had just gotten home. I loaded up some poker tables I was planning. And then I, I talked to Well Played. And he was like, oh, you can hop on if you want and cast those games. So I was like, all right. You know what? Let's just do it. Why not? It's been fun. It has been fun for sure. Alright, so we do have the Lich. On Sheik's side, he's looked for critters. He's probably going to want to scrape the expo instantly, which is very standard. Hawk on the other side, we know he likes to do mercenary camp first. Is that going to be the case? He's setting up for it with the pull. I feel like it's a bit early to do it like that, but maybe it's okay, I guess. I like to do it a little later, because then you move in as soon as those guys move out, and then you bought maximum time before they come back. Every little detail like this matters. He's actually not going to scout. Often, like, that footman would then go across the map to scout immediately what the opponent's doing here. But he's going to send the third footman instead. Damn. Gets Lion Horn of Stormwind. Why does Sheik always have two Acolytes when he does? I really don't get it. What's the point here? Makes no sense. Whoa! Does he think he can long distance mine or something? What the fuck is going on? He keeps doing this. Does he want to fight the footman with these guys? Like, it's so weird. So he starts the expo. Not sure if the footman was close enough. He saw that there was no expo yet, and that he might be worried that there is an attack coming. No, he's not seeing this, but I think he will follow up with... Okay. He's trying to scout. I think he will realize that human's not near him coming. Okay, so he's going to check with this. He goes for a pull with the illusion, but actually, oh, he gets ensnared, so that that's still going to trigger all the things. But she can buy mercs. He lost to ghoul. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god. Cheek, you gotta work on your creeping, buddy. It's ridiculous. Bro! Insanity. You didn't get the troll priest. A player's forces are under attack. Very nice by Hawk to leave this behind. He's going for the cancel on that gold mine. Is gonna get targeted. That's a sure cancel. That's why the acolytes were there. A little trap for the Archmage. Look at this. They've served their purpose.
You know, Sheik has no woods. He might have cancelled too late. Player's forces are under attack. Once it's clear that he's going to be cancelled, there is no point waiting anymore. You should just cancel immediately so you get more resources out of it. Big Nova. And yeah, what's scary here is that like this can do a lot of damage, of course, but if she gets level 4 quickly, you're gonna enter a new world of hurt here. Instantly. Oh, I like that he leaves just two ghouls. Bro, where's the Abolish? Are you fucking kidding me? You even have two. He's gonna heal himself. Don't get drained. Oh. Damn, I had to sneeze really bad. Oof, muted just on time. Save. A player's forces are under attack. A bit of mismovements for sure. This is chilling up there. That's kind of blocked, I think, right? Oh, these assholes. Ooh, the scroll value will be huge here. No! No! 6 p.m. Sharp! Not like this. Needed that as well. I could have healed the lich so much. A town is under siege. This archmage not feeling the love of this game. And a second, huh? For the beast, oh my god, these items. Oh, doesn't have much lumber, that's why he's not able to take to tier 3 immediately. You know he's made a gazillion peasants on woods. I was like, he forgot to remake Altar, but no, he made it at the expo instead. Sheik doesn't have access to potions yet. Because he's not tier 2. He's about to, though. Oh, the illusions are so annoying. Our control level 2, that's gonna be huge. But the ghouls are melting. He didn't buy a potion. Breh. Breh. Ah, he gets it. Pretty deep dive. Double sanks. You can just click that slaughter, no? He's trying to save that. Walls now, that's really nice. Was that the big invul or the small one? It was the small one. Oh my god, he scrolls. What the fuck? Just TP? He's not worth. And he's gonna die too. Oh, 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 oh. Move! 
He dribbles past the Archmage. Goal! Lich with the score. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, that was not worth. I've seen so many uh, heal scrolls wasted today. Jesus Christ. Used Invuln, Hill Scroll, and then still lost the Panda. Like, come on. Ridiculous. Please let him die without wasting any items. Or TP out. A player's Why it make the shop forward at the expo? I don't want to sound like the guy that criticizes everything, but there's so many things I don't understand here. Like, if you have to make a shop anywhere, this is the last place you should fucking make it, is here at the front. Make it here. I guess maybe you don't have the room, but, like, make it here. Come on, you know? Oh, those priests. They're in danger. They're in danger! Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, the stuff on this one. The other one, however, not so lucky. Almost level five. A player's forces are under attack. Second slaughter at the expo, so one creep to slaughter. And that casually getting leveled. I'm tired of singing that song, guys. The two arcanes are a nice touch against Lich. Because Lich will very commonly come here and kill a lot of peasants, but now he's draining a lot of mana for it. He has a Nova, he has a Nova. Oh my fucking god. Oh, you don't have an Oli. Deny! Blood lost in knights! Look at this! Oh my god, he got uh, Warsong Battle Drums. Jesus Christ. Sheik is literally gonna get. What the f? Boneyard. He's getting a lot of priests actually. He wants to inner fire everything. This is the weirdest comp. He makes a couple fins, then he goes into abombs with his cloud, and then he's like, all right, I'll sprinkle an abomb on top of that. Throw in a couple olives and green peppers. Lots of upgrades. Lich, where are you going? You're drunk, go home. Panic Nova on the Crypt. Imagine, his second hero is level 2. The opponent's third hero is level 3. <laughs> this is fucking terrible. Does he have destroy form yet? No, he doesn't. He's not even repairing. What the fuck? The statues are too far, oh my god. Oh 
Homie! What are you doing, homie? He's getting web with these two fiends. Ay ay ay. He's waiting for the second frost to fight, I guess. Oh my god, he has 1700 gold. What the fuck? A player's force Sheik! He forgot to make a zig. Oh no. He's still not making it either. What's up, knights? Oh no. That's without Stormball, by the way. Holy shit, those guys are gonna get trashed. He didn't even turn on the fire either, his manner. He's not a shit hacker. This is looking pretty bad. Oh, he killed the Death Knight? What the fuck? I didn't even see. Sheik, are you gonna make that zig or what? What's going on, mate? A town is under 1600 gold. This is so weird. He does some things so well, but then some other things, like, he just does terribly. Maybe he's tired by now. With all the games that he's been playing. That's a thick panel. Look at this. 1100. Maybe a good time to TP. He's out of mana on everything, but I guess maybe he just feels like he's winning anyway. Everything is slowed. Dispel, dispel. Dispel. That's so many casters. Poor Sheik. He's getting assaulted 24 7 in those games. And that breath. Yeah, kind of underwhelming game, to be honest. Kind of underwhelming. <laughs> Unless she can do a lot better than this, that's going to be a one sided grand final, so I got a feeling. Seems like throwing in some Frostworms is like the new trends. Maybe Sheik has been playing a lot of 4v4 as well. And in 4v4, the Frostworms are very sick. They're like one of the highest tier units. In terms of quality, if you can get a bunch of them. Of course, like every game is independent. And like some of them, it's going to make no sense to go for them. But very often, Frostworms can be really sick. And they're like a very good transition to go for, actually. I think sometimes people, they even fall in love with Frostworms too much because of this. And they go for Frostworms every game and they try to rush them very greedily. That's how games can be lost. But the thing is, random team is so disorganized that, and chaotic that it, it, they still can pull it off most times anyway. You like double Sanctum in this matchup? In Expo against Expo, yeah, it's kind of standard. 
Apparently, Labyrinth has played Worms a bunch. Yeah. And Labyrinth is like super experienced with Expo play. Guess if you do something, it's good to pay attention to it. Guys, I'm hungry. Oh my god. <laughs> I need to try to go to bed earlier today. What, like... Yeah. I just have little energy now because of little sleep and went to bed too late. It messes me up. Why is it so freaking hard? No 4v4 today, yeah, I don't think so, not today, most likely. Yeah, Hawk won game number one. I don't even know he's saying he won, he's doing justice to the absolute massacre we just witnessed. Sheik never had a chance in that game. On to map number two. Here on springtime. I'm not sure what Sheik is doing wrong exactly, but like leading to the point where he's into the mid game, but it feels like he's just taking some bad fights, I guess, targeting the wrong things here and there. Last game, it seemed like it should have been okay for him. Also, I guess he didn't see the army coming for the cancel on his expo early enough. Because if he did, he could have done max damage to it and killed a lot and really punished. But this is the map on which we saw the absolutely crazy Sheik versus Blade game, which was just the most ridiculous one we've had so far. There was 30 supply. At some point, it was 35 supply for Sheik and 65 for Blade. Which is just a huge difference, obviously. You like this map? It's alright. I didn't know it at first, and then now I'm starting to know it a little bit. It's growing on me but yeah i wouldn't go as far as saying i like it or something i don't really know it much yet oh no not like this not the rabbit yeah he lost the troll priest at the lab even though he needed that to be on his lich to be back to full hp and stuff a lot of mistakes like this very unconventional unusual <clears throat> A player's forces are under attack. Okay. A town is under siege. Yeah, the two goals there, that was bad. He made completely miss money. And also, he attacked his hero way too long as well at the mark camp, which didn't matter so much because he didn't get attacked after anyway.
What the hell was that? That was like a burp. Just make an ice tower, dude. What the fuck? This footman has been there being annoying the whole time. He's lost so much gold, probably. Yeah, 200 gold difference already. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Yeah, he sold the altar, of course. You always do it with this. Dude, this burp. Like, what the hell is that? It's disgusting. Let's see. 10, 10 4. We're gonna time it for 10 4. 20, 10. Yeah, 220. So 180 difference. Ay, 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 ay. Is keeping the evasion and I use this. Does anyone ever take expo in the middle on this map with how easy this looks to creep? A town is under siege. Okay, see, this time he's gonna get in position because he scouted it well. Can you stop leaving the sacred text on the ground, please? Bro. Players' forces are under attack. Almost three. Nice saves. Wow, he did pre prevented three. That's so sick. Water though. Sheesh. Yeah, that leech has a lot of agility, that is for sure. Gonna get another rod and then stuff across, maybe. What? Did you just sell a rod of necromancy to buy another? What the? Did I just see that right? He had one charge. What the fuck? He gets surrounded, he's dead, by the way. He already used stuff to come here. Shop at the expo, second zig. Getting everything. Didn't forget to remake the altar. Sheik has actually has been very on point with that for sure. A player's forces are under attack. Shredder on the other side. Be very helpful. Yes, you can rebuy at the tavern without an altar, of course. You're not completely screwed. You don't have an altar, but it's it's kind of bad because buying at the tavern is very costly. What? The I thought he was gonna go cube down here, like the Mason and his friends. He's going for these acolytes. Whoops! 
Because he has stuff. Yeah. He needs to go now, probably. And start a tower. That gold mine is going to fall real fast. Losing Akolai is the bi not the biggest deal, even though he's taking, because he has this one. Yeah, he's already started making Akolai in advance. The expo will be defended. Tower's finished. If Hawk commits to this and doesn't get it, that's going to be kind of bad. Because now he gave Lich level 4 as well. Nakolai's gonna go down. Why didn't he coil? Maybe he could start attacking the Zep as well with the Lich if it's close enough. Oh shoot! He's killing everything actually. What? I'm pretty good for Sheik this one. Gargoyle? I didn't see the Zep. He can stuff the Lich soon actually. Attack! Oh, it got denied. Oh, it just expired. What the hell? Can he coil from this far? Oh my god, it got so... Not above the tree! Oh my god, if he had tried, he would have died above the trees. Woohoo! Honestly, he should have left the ghouls here and then... Oh, he, he could have staffed in. You could have bought TP, staffed in, kill everything, and then TP out. Ooh. It hurts. It hurts! This is gonna do a mass destro attack or what? Cheek is rich, but he has not much woods. He might buy a shredder then. That would actually be good if you went there and bought a Shredder. Then you don't have to worry about ghouls anymore. Hawk lost his Shredder, I forgot actually. That's put, that puts him so far behind economy-wise, because he lost a lot of peasants and he lost Shredder, so his wood is actually non-existent. He goes double workshop. Are we going to see some tanks here, maybe? How many towers to defend a Distro push? I think the right number is infinity. Yes, Cage Man, you can. You don't need an Altar to instant revive. <clears throat> well, been fun. I think that's gonna be it. This map. What the? forces are under attack. Ah! Rest in peppers. All right. Well tied up. He had less than infinity, that is for sure. Three is very far from that. Oh my god! I need food so bad that it makes me sleepy. What are you guys having for dinner? Share share your meals with me. Anything special? Tide Hunters next. 
grilled chicken. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. Oh my god, bolognese! And both of you are having spaghetti bolognese. I guess that's uh, a common dish. Pasta with tuna sauce. That sounds really good. Chicken pesto calzone. Oh, you guys have good taste. You guys have really good taste, not gonna lie. Okay, we need to run to restroom, so... Since nothing happens in the start, I'll be right back one sec, and then you guys can look at this altar in the meantime and try and predict if it's gonna be a lich or a lich. Be right back one sec. All right, we're here, we're here. Let's go, champ. Oh, it's a creep lord, what the fuck? How? Impossible. He's trying to trick him. Yes, he's, be he's uh, best of five in the finals, yes. Usually, actually, when semis are... Uh, I'm so used of semis being best of five, then finals best of seven, but I guess here it's all best of fives. Which actually, like, they are mad late for the other, all the random tournament where Hawk still has to play in the next round. He will play against... Is it Yumiko? Let me check. Yeah, against Yumiko. And the other semis dies against Mikael, which I guess is happening right now. New Barak. Did you mistake this game for uh, Heroes of the Storm? Who is casting the other one? I'm not sure actually. Uh, you can see on Walker 3 info. Let me see. Yeah, I don't see any stream listed. But uh, Mikael should be streaming himself, right? They postpone all the random till tomorrow. Oh, okay, yeah, so yeah, that's a good thing then. Thanks, Nightmare, for letting us know. He's zoning him out nicely, but this goes past. A player's forces are under attack. Wait. Oh, he doesn't have Impel. Because he's only over one. I was like, why is he not Impelling? Easiest to run of all time. And now Archimage is going to go for the dive cancel, which he should be able to get, I think. Evacuate. Here. Evacuate. Give me level two. Can't leave. Oh my god. Oh no. It's not going from bad to worse. It's gonna expire as well. Sheik is a sad pet out right now. Not like this.
Okay, that's level two. If there is no deny. Oh shit, he, he slipped out. How's this possible? Just leave one unit or two on it. A player's okay, forces tech. are under attack. <laughs> he just tagged. I have no idea what this is supposed to do, because you can just call Militia in the main. Oh my god! Oh, this is game. <laughs> what the fuck? The Crypt Lord never got level 2 the entire game. This is so ridiculous. It has to be one of the most absurd games I've seen in a while. A town is under siege. Yeah, I bought that altar. Is he even gonna go for the acolytes? No, never mind. <laughs> Maybe Sheik's getting tired, I don't know. That was not uh, very convincing. At all. And now Hawk's gonna be the one with two match points. He almost lost 0 and 3 against uh, Dice, but instead he rose from the ashes like the Phoenix. And now maybe about to maybe about to score some esports dollars. As first place is around 500 bucks, second place have that in this tournament. I wonder where Hawk spends all of his money, probably on like Protein shakes and steroids. Are steroids expensive? <laughs> yes, no. Looks like we're going to head to Rusty Creek in a second. I'm not gonna lie, usually I cheer for more games, but no. I'm rooting for a 3-1 because I wanna eat. Definitely not on your chair. Yeah, he's got that old Darbo one. What's your chair uh, one? Do you have a good chair? It's called Russian vitamins. <laughs> Steroids are super expensive. Really? There you go. Noble chair. Hmm. I got a sick chair. I got the best chair possible. <clears throat> hey, Sudo, can you not make ignorant comments like this, please? And not call any country a shithole. Otherwise, I'm going to have to send you to the shithole of the Shadow Realm on Twitch, aka Bands. Damn, Sheik has quite a bit more ping actually on this host. He used four. It's 41. What are we going to see on this dog shit map?
I don't even remember exactly what this map is like. Is th this map is the one I've seen the least. Like legit. Two and one. So ghoul build again, no surprise. And yeah, okay, I remember. This is not the expo you can take because there is the bolt. The bolt guy. See, there is a lot of... Oh, no, never mind. That's not an expo. Okay, so there is two expos. There is the bolt guy and the piercing one that does a lot of damage. So if he expos, he will be here, right? Merc camp kind of on the way. Ay, 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 ay. Guys, can we please stay away in the chat from, like, politics stuff and uh, shitting on the whole country and stuff? I'm really not a big fan of that. Can we keep it positive and about video games? Well, actually, that's impossible to keep it positive when we're talking about this garbage video game that is Warcraft here. So let's keep it about video games, all right? Positive or negative? We're back to the Lich. I don't dislike the idea of going for a Crypt Lord, but obviously the execution was pretty poor last game. Dude, what is this? It was like, I gotta close my wall, but I'm not gonna make it clean. I'm just gonna put it up there so I can make sure I can't build anything there. What? That's actual animal cruelty here. Damn, I would be so pro at creeping this camp because this is the, almost the same creeps as on uh, 4v4. On, was it Wellspring Temple or something? Damn, Hawk sucks. What the fuck? He lost his water immediately. Look at how much damage he's going to take. Oh, shoot. Not really Tsuku, because there is also mirror matches. So even similar races in Walker 3 also when I exterminate each other. We're just incapable of living next to one another. Whether it in real life or in video games. Look at this center, you know, he could have chosen the way of peace. Could have chilled somewhere. Found a sugar mummy. But instead he chose to guard this expansion that nobody cares about. And try to prevent Sheik from taking it on his road to success. Wait, what? A player's force is under attack. This is normal? Did he mistime that? What? The mini shot is almost done! Bro. Yeah, that has to... Like, what? I don't get it. it seems like... A lot of micro mistakes. Not micro, but the way it crept. Execution, I guess. What's the prize money for this tourney? It's uh, around 1100. 500 for first, 250 second. Forces are under attack. Mates. No! Don't you lose that one. I will leave the game. Lost this one already. Mana pennant though. What I'm talking about. It's not a mean dog. A player's forces are under attack. 
Wait, but he forced the shop to heal everything because everything was messed up. So he got clarity as well. He got a clarity of mind. Shiki's like, are you kidding me? How many gold mine am I going to get cancelled today? It's ridiculous. I think it should be saved. For the Arcos. Yeah, this is saved. Honestly, Shik should cancel this and tech now and let this one make the Arcos. I actually know this is going to take a while. This is me at a restaurant in Germany, waiting for service. Absolutely fucking invisible. I close the menu, put my phone away. I'm staring at the waiters. They walk right past me. Oh, he falls deep here, actually. Woof. At least, I guess, Hog got expo up. Sounds like me in France. Yeah, I think France and Germany both have, like, completely garbage service very often. It's actually not even funny. Like, I'm not one to generalize, but honestly, it's insane. Having spent a lot of time in both of these countries. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's me. Nobody took my order after 10, 15 minutes, so I was like, fuck this. I'll go to another place. Little do I know the next place is going to be the same. Justin, last game, what do you recommend against Lich first, Todd? Are you under the impression... That I can win a one-on-one -on -one in the game Warcraft 3, The Frozen Throne, Reign of Chaos, or Reforged. And in particular in the matchup of the humans battling the undeads. Because if you do, you are sadly mistaken. I have no clue what you're supposed to do in this video game. I love how we just three minutes ago were all about let's not talk shit about entire countries. I'm not talk talking shit about entire countries. Talking shit about the waiter and waitress industry in those two countries. That's very different. That is very, very different. Talking about the service industry here. Angry looking French equals no service. I'm not angry, dude. I mean, why do you say I'm angry? Do I sound angry to you? What's your problem? Nah, I'm pretty sure at restaurants. Actually, these days, like, I'm so sleepy. Like, usually I will always, I always say please, thanks, all that stuff. But these days, when I'm really tired, there's been so many times where, like, you know, like, they are like, oh, have a good day. And then I'm, I'm just, like, so zoned out and so tired that I don't even answer. There's been a couple of times. And I realized later on, I'm like, oh, shit. I was that guy, I guess. Oh, my God. He's bringing out the 4 on 4 builds. Fools will be proud. Necromancers. Wait, it's not quite with a Dreadlord, to be honest. Forces are under attack. You can't have it both ways, right? Because, like, in uh, France or Germany, you tip very little. Like, when you go to a restaurant or something compared to the US. What the hell? He just left that home for the DK. Uh, I was talking... I have this American friend. He's in Madrid right now for, like... There's, like, a poker event. 
And he told me it's so nice. Oh my god, he stole that. He told me it's so nice. You go somewhere, you see a price, you pay that price. It's not like you see a price and then you pay and then they add the tax like they do in America everywhere. I agree. I think it's a little bit shitty that, but... As for the tipping service, I feel like the service is really good in America because they rely on tips to make a living and you know if you have if you do bad service you're not gonna get much of a tip. I wonder what do you guys tip? Like Europeans here. Europeans, when you go to or even Americans. I think in America, I always try to, like, if service is good, I tip 20 to 22%. I think that's the standard. But in Europe, I think the standard is way lower than that, but it's different for everyone, right? So, what do you guys tip? Tell me where you live and tell me what's your standard. If you go to a restaurant or something. Oh no. I could transfer staff technically, but then the Lich might. Uh, Lich has boots, I guess. It's like, yeah, bolt me, you fuck. Might even be able to run. Oh, he has to staff now then. Oh, is this too late? Oh, he didn't have mana anyway, okay. Bro! Where are you going? Fifteen lunch, twenty, twenty. Do you know what? What does that mean? Don't tip here either. Where? Where is that? Are you in UK, Ross? I thought you tip in UK. Bulgaria, ten percent. California, Nevada, twenty, twenty-five percent. Woof! Forces are under attack. Twenty-five percent. Canada, fifteen. And everything you are cheap. Eighteen is fine. Twenty plus is good. Okay. I had to scroll to see your messages. Tip once in Japan, worst mistake ever. Why? Did I call a hitman to get rid of you or what? Been watching a lot of your streams lately. Oh. Thanks for the entertainment. Yo. Euros, go get yourself a coffee. Thank you very much, Varian Rin55 for the 994. Been watching a lot of your streams lately, thanks for the entertainment. About 10 euros, go get yourself a coffee. I wanted to make a joke about where I would get a coffee for 10 euros, like the Emirates or something. But to be honest, I'm pretty sure if you order like a venti caramel macchiato with a different, like a non-dairy milk, it's like 670 or something in Germany. So we're not too far from that. You're actually very, very close. Thank you so much, mate. Much appreciated. I'm from Balkans and here only the mob guys have money to tip and politicians, which is tax deductible. So you're saying if you tip, nobody's gonna mess with you. They're afraid. A player's forces are under attack. Japanese view tipping as unpolite. That's crazy. Because like in some countries, like in America, it's so standard to tip. I can't imagine that Americans will go to Japan and be like, all right, I'm not going to tip in this country. No, they probably would. But I guess you have to inform yourself, like, wherever you travel and, like, what to do or whatever. I remember, what, like, sometimes I read that stuff. One time I was going to Thailand, I think it was, maybe. And then I read what are the must do and what must not do. And then there was this thing about not pointing anyone with your feet. <laughs> Because they see the feet as like a really dirty thing or whatever and like disrespectful if you point towards someone with your feet. I'm like, why the fuck would you ever point towards any to anyone with your feet? That makes no sense. Like on purpose to try and point something, I guess. I don't remember if that was Thailand. Like, that might have been another country, but yeah, I remember thinking like, what, what is this? Lich level 5 though. Damn, Sheik woke up today and he chose violence. Look at this bush. Meet wagons. We got skeletal mages AFK at the back. Knight goes in, gets taken out instantly. Death Knight is level 3. Can drop the pendant and use the mana pot as well. Thanks to Dark Ritual level 2, this Lich is basically on steroids, much like Hawk. Control magic on some of the summons. That's actually pretty cute. I don't think it would matter much though. Staff. Yeah, Regen Scroll, I mean, it's what you need, but. 
Siege is here. This is the invasion of the undead. He's controlling a lot of the summons. Mid wagons untouched. The necros can't actually attack spellbreakers because they immune magic, but the summons will. Sheik's actually pretty rich. Not spending his gold too well here. Yeah, the tunnel gonna go down. I'll take him. He's not even close to three here. Yo, Nico, uh, plus tard. Faut que je finisse de commenter ça. Faut que je mange et après je peux jouer, si tu veux. Oh, snappity snap. Yeah, that DK was not even gonna get caught. And we are all tied up. We're gonna make it to the final map. Was it only three twos? Yeah, yeah, it was. Holy shit. What a bracket. Oh, I mean, from the semis at least. The quarterfinals were very one sided. But the semi finals and finals, five mappers, all of them, that's what I'm talking about. Combien de temps? Uh, une heure, je pense. On va voir, ça peut aller plus vite. Si la dernière game va vite et que ensuite je cuisine et je mange vite. Moins peut-être, 45 minutes. But it feels a bit insulting when you accidentally tip for something that doesn't expect it. I think they are thinking my job is better than service industry. I make okay money, don't need your tip. I mean, it's a cultural thing. I don't think anyone, like, should be offended, especially from, like, a foreigner or something, right? Like, in America, it's it's the absolute standard to tip. So if you run into an American somewhere and they tip you, like, you shouldn't be like, oh, my God, like, how could you do this to me? Like, you know, like, it's just the standard thing. But also, I also believe that if you travel to a country, you should inform yourself on what's the norm there so you can adapt. Games themselves are one-sided, though. Some of them... I mean, if you saw uh, Blades versus Sheik Map 5, that wasn't one-sided. That was crazy. The tips, c'est non merci. Perso, je suis ADM. Ça veut dire quoi? Admin? Responsable logistique, je prends rendez-vous, prépare des installations, vérifie tout pour le client, assure du contrôle du suivi. Je m'attends pas à un type, donc j'enfile. Ah, il y a des mots qui sont censurés, je sais pas pourquoi. Fais son taf, point barre. Ouais. Tout le monde est différent. Ouais, mais si tu vas à un resto, tu donnes pas de pourboire Tu cuisines Oui. Are we getting some falls after this, maybe I don't think so tonight. I'm pretty tired and I've already been live six hours, so that's probably just going to be it. It's just a cast of the tournament. But tomorrow I should be live with Force, with a regular Force. We'll see. Maybe later tonight I'll feel like Force, but I think it's unlikely. After I cast game for like six hours, usually I just want to chill a bit, play some PUBG, maybe some poker. I want to do too many things. That's the problem, you know? I wish I could clone myself. Because not only would I be unbeatable in 4v4 with four of me, but also I could do more things. Even though technically, I guess it wouldn't be me, right? Yeah, whatever. All right, let's go. Final map, Northern Isle. What a better... What better map could we have ended things on? Well, actually, any map, because Northern Isle is a pile of shit. However, it is our pile of shit. Four humans in four and four. I wouldn't play four humans, though. I would play with every race. I would do the rainbow. And I'm pretty sure that after a couple days playing together, we'd also be strangling each other with my clones. <clears throat> I actually think like multi-human could work if people are very competent. But it's still, no matter what, it's always a handicap on the same side for sure. But if you have three humans on a team, the thing is everybody's on autopilot. Like everybody's going Archmage, nobody's asking other people like, should you go uh, mountain king like, or something? It's very rare that players actually do that. They started doing it more and now, and that's because I encouraged it, but even then. Convincing the clones to play these other races will be a challenge. Actually, uh, not really ghetto because 
If we were given the opportunity now to re-pick race on loading screen and my team already had two humans, I would for sure pick another race every single time. So I, I would be willing to play other races to not have to play triple human. Unfortunately, we don't have the option. So it wouldn't take convincing. Like by default, I don't want to play other races, but there are certain situations where I wouldn't mind picking another race. I'll tell you that. What the? That's cold, man. I was having a little concert. I was trying to summon the frog poison out of this one. That's the funniest shit I've heard of recently, is that frog poison story from the poker world on Twitter. I can't imagine being a degenerate enough to go and see a shaman that tells you I will extract poison from this frog and then put some of it on you and then you're gonna experience hallucinations. Like, you have to be a fucking insane degenerate. Then again, I know very little of it, but still. I will be level 2. Eight. Don't want to take this much damage immediately, but then again, the Lich is out of mana. Expo isn't even started. What the? Mate, Sheik. Okay, I'm going to message him after this. This is fucking ridiculous. Every game he makes triple. Like, what are these guys doing? What is this? You could have made an extra ghoul with this. This is dumb, dude. No way. I will never accept that this is a thing that he does. And he's still making one more. Maybe he wants to Dark Ritual. Am I missing something? Has he been Dark Ritualing them? No, he goes for a Skelly. Dark Ritual actually would make sense. What the shit is this? I mean, I know the expansion of Undead finishes quickly, but still. If Frostgen delivers good new RTS, would you still learn it? Or are you done with RTS? For sure, I will, I will try the Frostgen game. But I have very little hope that there's going to be games that I like, because I'm very picky about games. I don't like many games. I think every game is trash, especially the one that I stream every day, actually. Not that you speak of it. Oh my god. Lightning shield. Oh shit. Yeah, like, let's say I like the game of Frost Giant, then I would for sure get involved on it. Like, uh, stream it, maybe try and cast tournaments on it. It's too early to say, like, I don't even know what the game looks like at all and stuff, so... Yeah, I don't, I'm not the person to put my ho hopes up too high and stuff. What is it that, uh... Zendaya says in the Spider-Man movies, or the last one, she keeps repeating like, if you expect disappointment, you'll never be disappointed. Well, to be honest, that's a little too dark. <laughs> I don't expect disappointment out of the Frost Giant game, but I, I expect, in a way, I mean, that might sound stupid, but I don't have any expectation. Because then that way, if it's bad, then I won't be disappointed, but if it's good, I'll be fucking amazed. That's the way you want to do it, I think. I think in general it's a human flaw for sure to uh, always set expectations on everything. Especially for like overthinkers and stuff. Which many of us are. Hello, footman. Players' forces are under attack. If that guy could jump, he might.
That reminds me of like every time you play a video game where there is like a cliff. I'm like, I have to know. Do they allow you to jump? Usually they do in most games, but in some they don't. And yeah, it's it's a death and you have to restart the checkpoint, but fuck it. It's like curiosity. The curiosity of not knowing would have killed me too much for me not to try. So I had to try. A player's forces are under oh, he's doing... Wait, dude, he saved that for the last game. He's doing the blade push. The tinker. This is a very different game though. Wait. Oh, he's making another ice door. I wonder how viable just giving up the expo would be here. I guess you can also repair. Targeting the heroes is usually the way, but this one has a big a big invuln. Yeah, the problem with fighting immediately like this is that he's gonna lose all ghouls and then he's just dead. And the two ice towers don't do enough damage. He's not producing. Sheik! Sheik! He's still mining this whole time. Just mine as long as you can and then evacuate the expo. Like you're trying to save something that's gonna lose you the game. Just like my teammates in 4v4. Just let them die. Let them buy you a little bit of time, you know? They're just a tome for the opponents anyway. Wait. He forgot the altar this game. Oh no. Sheik, not in the final game, mate. Not like this. Please, no, that's why he has to defend, because, like, he cannot transition ever. He would have to make the other, and he has no wood either. No! Drop the gauntlet, at least. There we go. It's, 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 it's the disaster. He's still not remaking the altar. Fuck. This is not looking too hot for uh, Undead here. No Rob, no Force tonight, I think. Ay, 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 ay. It's not even close to 4 either. Like 4 would be a big power level, because then you have so many Novas. And then the towers, they do a little bit of damage, then you can finish off casters all the time. But it's very far away from that. Okay, Altar finally being made. He should kill casters with the towers. Just put one tower on each, because they, they do a little damage. You might even be able to kill like some with double Nova. Uh, yeah, just one Nova, double kill. Lord of necromancy. This ghoul has been exiled on the other side. Chick's probably thinking, fucking hell, can I just play a game where we expand, creep a little bit, take it easy, and then fight later on? Do I have to get pushed the entire fucking night by those humans? It's ridiculous. Please leave me alone. I wonder how much this all this repair costs, but probably a lot. And some on this fucking thing. Imagine how much gold and lumber you will get if you summon everything now. Be a billionaire. <laughs> D 
these pull. Factory level 2 is going to be insane, by the way. Level 3! Honestly, I don't even know why he's turning to fight this. He should literally just be down here targeting this Zig the whole time. Then when Acolytes come, he targets them, then he targets the Zig. Alright, evacuate. The gold mine, bruh! Oh my fucking god. All these wasted resources. I don't think Sheik has ever heard the saying, a penny saved is a penny earned. Because he's not saving any pennies, it seems like. Letting them go to waste. Mortars! Supply blocked. Oh, he's about to be. Run, you fools! A town is under siege. Surprised Hawk hasn't made a lumber mill. Show me an over. There's all the priests behind. It's nice to Nova and hit this many units, but the priests, they just heal everything back up like very easily as after that. And you don't have anything to follow up. There's no impale, there's no disease clouds to lower the overall hit points. There's not even any fiends to target what's at the front. Uh, there's two fiends, but they're hiding back there. It seems like a, a sure slow death here for Sheik. Playing a bunch of mana pots, but down the wrong hero. Now the Mortar is applying so much pressure on his hull. Oh, the beast. Damn, this factory level 2 is tanky. Maybe he wasn't attacking it with everything. Hey, you're real funny, Provavel. Fucking clown! He never used the score of the beast. I feel like that leech is gonna get blown up in a sec. He's going for the Maltar uh, too late. Dude, what a fucking waste of a squad of beast. Makes me sad like this. He didn't save any pennies, but he saves the squad of beast somehow. Not very cost efficient at all. Thought you could have easily won this tournament too. I don't think so. I have a terrible record against Hawk. I've never beaten him in, in a tournament. I'm not super interested by solo to be honest. Meister Shaft and Experian is about as much pain as I'm gonna inflict to myself. Damn, can't blame Sheik for trying because this is the last game, but yeah, this is gonna be it. The pew Pew Rifles steamrolling their way to victory. 60 supply and Hawk wins the whole tournament. Congrats to him.